there is an invisible thread that binds us. A thread that weaves through the rich tapestry of lives and livelihoods. A thread that binds us to the world. This thread is strengthened and nurtured by the Apparel Export Promotion Council. We at AEPC are committed towards strengthening it. Today, have a strong Pan India presence with 10 regional offices. We have created apparel clusters with diversified products and profiles. Every region has its own weaves, its own fabrics, designs, colors. Add to that, there is no dearth of economical skilled manpower. It has kept abreast with advancements in technologies and has superior design capabilities that are set up in the world-class integrated manufacturing units spread across the country. This makes the global textile industry look at India as its preferred sourcing destination. Other factors in India's favour are its huge production capacities, design capabilities, capability to supply in shorter lead times and smaller MOQs. When you combine these with the FDI-friendly policies of Government of India and its focus on man-made and technical textiles, you get sourcing gold. The driving force behind the growth of India's textile industry is sustainability. India is one of the leading suppliers of organic cotton. The entire organic cotton value chain is one of the strongest in the world. However, the product range is not just limited to cotton. India has a diversified product range that caters to all the requirements of the textile industry. The industry also needs to focus majorly on sustainability because this is uh, something which is required by major buyers around the world. And the more uh, green we become in our entire value chain, the better will be our credentials to export. In line with its commitment to sustainability, the next big thing to hit the markets is man-made fibers. More and more global brands are leaning towards fabrics made from recycled materials are ecologically friendly and are biodegradable. The global MMF garments export stands at 164 billion USD. Of these, India's share is at 3.6 billion USD, that is 2.2%. This is poised to grow substantially with the Government of India's production-linked incentive scheme. Man-made fiber producers are geared up to meet the needs of the industry. India produces almost 7 million ton of man-made fiber. However, although we are next to China, but there is a big gap between the production of China and India. India needs to catch up with China. This is an opportunity for us to take care and create a brand equity of India into the international market. Timely delivery, accurate, Pricing. I think these are some of the needs of the industry and create a confidence in the mind of the buyer. We at AEPC are supporting and nurturing a circulatory economy in the textile industry that promotes repair, regeneration and reuse of products and materials. Today product recycling has become the buzzword to prevent unused or discarded clothes from piling up the landfills. The Council has partnered with several sustainability initiatives with the aim to reduce resource footprint by building the business case and align with the growing focus on sustainable production practices globally. Even as we are reaching out to the world, we are relentless in our commitment to the Indian garment industry. We are with our member exporters every step of the way. Right from the training, the workforce, to helping in sourcing the best of raw materials and machines from all over the world. 
not just that we also provide a platform to them to showcase and market their designs and products through our prestigious biannual India International Garment Fair with more than 350 exhibitors displaying everything ranging from the exotic to the everyday this is one marketplace that is much sought after to widen the market for the exporters and help increase their business we also facilitate their participation in highly visible international garment trade fair two of the major global trade fairs in which AEPC participates are the sourcing at magic in Las Vegas USA and India trends fair in Tokyo Japan in the wake of the COVID-19 pandemic when physical trade fairs and exhibition have become impossible we have launched a virtual platform that has as many as 300 stalls that display all kind of garments produced in India today India is a global force in the industry it has set for itself many milestones and is still going strong we are proud to have been an integral part of this journey our achievements are reflected not just in numbers but also in the lives touched our farm to fashion initiative brings together the entire value chain of the industry and addresses issues like farmers problems sustainability youth employment opportunities to name a few it seeks to design a roadmap for the future of the textile industry and find solutions to the challenges that come in the way garments make for 5% of india's exports and the industry employs 12.9 million people of these 65 to 70% are women to further the cause of women we at AEPC have launched a program on gender equality through workplace training it seeks to create just an equal workplaces and in turn equal societies and perception with nearly 72% of the handloom workers hailing from the rural India their welfare is also a priority with us we have worked diligently for the development of rural india for our weavers our farmers at aebc we have always strongly believed in rising to the challenge and delivering for the nation when the covid-19 pandemic hit the need for ppe kits increased tremendously India was able to increase its PPE kits production from 0 to 4 lakh 50 thousand kits every day in just 60 days. India is a powerhouse in garment and textile exports and revolutionizing this powerhouse is the Apparel Export Promotion Council Weaving Textile Heritage with Trade